All right, everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to take a look at the Yugoslavian military surplus mess kit. Hey everybody, welcome back. So you know I tell people I started this channel to test out gear that I purchased but never used. This is a really good example of it. <laughs> I've had this for a while and I haven't done anything with it. Um, I did wash it when I got it because it smelled kind of weird. You know, it has that chemical kind of smell to it. And when I washed it, I washed this and then dried it and it shrunk. I can still get it to fit in there, but it's a little tight. Anyway, this is the military uh, mess kit that the, of the Yugoslavian army. Uh, it comes with a canvas pouch and cover. You get your aluminum pot, plastic bowl, plastic canteen, a little plastic cup, and this little spoon, fork, and knife kit here that all nests together. And it has a can opener, and it also has a uh, can opener here, and a bottle opener here. I'm sorry, that's the can opener. It works kind of like the uh, P38, where you kind of rock it through the can, and it has a bottle opener. Um, all in all, the this is a neat addition. I'm not sure if I'd carry it um, because of the weight, because I could just carry a plastic spork and be good. But this is how the kit comes. So we're doing a review on the whole kit. Um, the kit nests together like this. This piece goes here. Now you'll notice there's a handle back here. When you're putting this top lid on, you don't want to put that there, because that handle will eventually break that, or it won't close right. And this goes on top. Everything snaps together. I can put it together. There we go. And you're done. Okay. The uh, bottom part here, the bowl pot, is a one liter pot. It's made of uh, stainless steel, I believe. Uh, canteen's one liter, just a little over a quart. And that is plastic. You can tell I haven't used this much. Let's get it all out again. So your canteen is about one liter. That's about one liter. Um, plastic bowl, 800 milliliters. Plastic cup, 200 milliliters. And uh, one of the neat things about this is if you're cooking with this and you want to uh, eat a meal in one piece, you have two separate things here. So you can kind of use that to uh, balance it, put that on your knee and eat between if you're having two separate things. The other neat thing it can be used for is, let's say this is really, really hot. This you don't want to put in the fire because it's plastic, but it can work as a little bit of a way to keep the heat off it. You'll also see on these that they have, I don't even know how to pronounce that, Niedrazi Nadavatir. Uh, do not put in fire is basically the translation for that. That's that and that. <laughs> so you don't want to put it in the fire. So that's pretty much it. What we're going to do is I'm going to put this together and I'm going to show you how you can make um, a quick little meal of two, two separate things because most of these pots I always see people just making one item in it. Or throwing everything in together. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is my video favorite, Spam and Ramen. <laughs> I swear I don't eat like that normally. Um, spam and Ramen thrown together in here. And we're going to make the Spam first, put it in the side bowl, boil the Ramen, put it all together, and we'll see how this uh, handles it. All right. I'm going to open up the Spam, cut it up on my cutting board here, and put it in there. See how that works. We're going to use everything from the kit. Just going to run it down here like that. And the knife is actually pretty sharp for a, you know, a military issue kit. So there you go. I'm going to toss that in there. Now, normally, if I was going to cook any kind of meats in here or chicken or anything like that or heat stuff up, I'd probably throw a little bit of olive oil in there. But I didn't with this because spam is so oily to begin with that um, I'm not too worried about it not uh, not sticking to the pan. Got the burner on, and we're gonna heat this up. And I'll bring you back when it's almost done, and then we'll do the ramen. All right, so we got the, clean that out. We got the spam all heated up, and I might add, it did stick to the bottom. So that's good to know. Maybe you wanna toss some butter or some olive oil in there. I'm sure that will come off once I clean it. And I'm not gonna worry about it boiling the ramen in there. Okay, we got that heated up. Now I'm going to add some water here. I'm not going to worry about it, the burned bottom there being uh, burned with spam stuff. We'll just stick some water in there. 
fill it up. And we're going to boil the water and get the noodles going. Light this up. Shouldn't take too long. And I'll bring you back once that's almost ready to be uh, done and we'll show you how that worked out. All right, while we're waiting for that to boil, I still had a few more things I wanted to tell you. The kit weighs about, what is it, 1.6 pounds. The utensils fit into a side pocket of this here. So everything fits in here. But over on this side, the utensils will slide right in and your kit fits right in there. It's not really a light kit, but unbelievably when I got it and picked it up, I always remembered it as being heavy and when I picked it up and actually went to do this video, I was like, well, that's kind of lighter than I remember. It's about uh, seven and a half tall by five inches wide by three and a half inches deep. So it would be really cool for say, you know, you're going backpacking, you're going out for fun, maybe a day trip where you're going out and just walking into the woods a little bit. Um, even an inexpensive bug out bag type thing with everything kind of self-contained, it is a little heavy. So you're going to be carrying something that's a little bit heavier than normal. But uh, no reason to really uh, turn it down. I've seen these everywhere from about 8 bucks online to about 15 bucks online. It all depends on where you bought them. I don't remember what I paid for this one. Um, this was back in my days of just watching YouTube. I spent a lot of time watching YouTube and not commenting and not really doing much anything. So anyway, we're going to wait for that to boil up. I'm going to put it all together and I'll have a quick lunch and I'll clean everything up and show you how it all goes together in the bag. Alright, so I'm back. I got it all cooked up in there. Looking pretty good. I made myself some instant coffee for the cup. Now, with these cups, just a word of warning. You want to drink from here, okay? You don't want to try to drink from here or here. I find drinking on the side makes it so much easier to, uh, to drink with. So anyway, I'm going to have some lunch and I'm going to clean all this stuff up and when I get done, I'm going to show everybody how it, everything goes back in the kit. So we will see you then. All right, I'm all done. It's all cleaned up. Um, you did see the bottom of that when I was cooking the spam in it and all the burn stuff. This thing comes clean easily. I just took that inside, used a little, uh, you know, a little green scrubby brush. Came right off without a problem at all. So, this goes together pretty simply. Your spoon and knife, spoon and fork go in there like this. Okay. This guy, the little canteen, would go in here. And this piece goes on top. Everything kind of snaps into place. And there's the front there. There you go, that's all set. I'm gonna put it in here, it's probably gonna be a little a little difficult because I shrunk it. But it'll give you an idea. And I'll probably um, end up either buying another bag for this or just going with a different bag or not even using one. Um, this is really for going out and camping and stuff. And originally I got it because I thought it was kind of cool. but uh, So there you go. It's all packed in there. This is where my problem is. This is a little short here. But I'm kind of stretching it out to make it reach. But there, see? Not too bad. Just shrunk a little bit. Anyway, that's the size of it. It's got nice little belt loops on the back for your belt. It's not an overly um, obtrusive item. You know, you could stick this in a backpack with a little, uh, one of those little mini BRS stoves and uh, you'd be pretty uh, well set for cooking out on the field. So anyway, that is the Yugoslavian military surplus mess kit. I know there's tons of videos on these. I really wanted to do a cool video outside today, but it is so windy in the desert today that it's just, you would have heard nothing but wind noise. It would have been annoying. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.